Hello, Todd Bog here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Conquest of Elysium IV, Rise of the Bergmeister. Uh, where we last left off, uh, let's zoom in here, uh, we had basically wiped out uh, the great majority of uh, Red's forces, uh, and we're on cleanup duty, essentially. Uh, we are attacking him in this tower, so we should probably take that and wipe them out pretty soon. And uh, we we're working to push to take other territories here and everything, so... So that's where we were at last time. Uh, just verify everybody has moved. I've done my recruitments that I need. That does appear to be the case. Uh, let's see. Uh, so let's see. We've got a Hogmeister we can bring in though. So where do we want that Hogmeister? I think we need a Hogmeister to go down here if possible. So we can do that from this city. So we'll go ahead and recruit. Uh, one Hogmeister here. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll give them some Hog Knights just for fun, right? So let's see what we got there. So we'll go here, transfer up those Hog Knights. Uh, wolves move three, don't they? They, they? they don't have any action point issues, so we'll do that. And why not? Uh, let's uh, use special powers. Do some animals. <laughs> It's going to be a weird army, uh, but whatever. Uh, it's going to be fun. So let's transfer units. So we got the Hogmeisters, we got the Wolves, and we got the Chickens, Rabbits, Rabbits. I always think they're Chickens. All right, so now we got a whole army of things that can move three spaces, so we should be able to take out some stuff. Uh, let's just verify. Yeah. Okay. So we'll be able to capture some of these points here. Uh, this army here is done for now, so we'll go ahead and we'll hit enter. Alright, so this is, I'm just going to speed it up. As you can see, they're going to do massive damage with their siege weapons here. But now we're starting to move up. to watch through all of that shooting but yeah siege weapons getting those 10 rounds in the beginning of combat just means that uh, this one uh, just means that it's uh, gonna do uh, take a massive toll on your army regardless of what you have so luckily those streaming can take quite a beating so all right so at this point we got snakes in the way in a swamp I don't want to go to the swamp so we'll do that uh, you guys Let's go ahead and take that iron mine. Uh, here we're going to take that and we'll start heading this way. And here we're going to go ahead and crash into that. Uh, let's see. Might as well do some animals. Alright. And uh, let's go ahead and recruit some crossbows here. Yeah, we'll do crossbows. And we got another Hogmeister, huh? Where could I use that Hogmeister? I'm pretty happy with what I got there. I mean, there is that, but I think continuing our push down here may be our best bet. Which means, uh, Mr. Yeah, let's go ahead and recruit the Hogmeister there. And why not some Hog Knights for him, too? Alright, uh, so we got Van Duke. Transfer. Hog Knights. Nothing else here moves really fast. Alright, and what he can do is he can actually take these gems and come up this way, so. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. You guys are going to head back north, I think, to take the last citadel. Or one of their last citadels. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Storm Giants, huge, 109 hit points. Uh, giant sized, hates earth beings. Oh, interesting, he'll kill his own allies uh, if they're on the same side, that's how much he hates them. Um, lightning Strikes and that 1 to 25 on that fist. Whew. All right, why not? We'll go ahead and murder him. Let's see what we got there. Uh, these guys will probably need to run away. They're not going to be able to do anything there. I don't know what keeps taking this, but we'll see if it comes back. And, 
yeah recruited in those two feeling happy with what I got here so let's go ahead and turn this should be Independence in the clouds. I think this is going to be a bunch of ineffective lightning bolts. So that watch everything daily. There we go. Ah, where did they keep? Ah, yep. Ah, he did some damage, but yeah, it was not to be. Ooh, a hedge wizard. Okay. So, is that the library? It was the library, so... That guy is just very protective of the library. 43 units, all ranged. Okay. Not bad. Like, we could totally take it with what we have here, couldn't we? Um, let's go ahead and recruit here. Give us a hedge wizard. That's really cool. And we'll throw some crossbows in there. What is Patango? What do you have for spells here, dude? Hedge magic level one. Disease and poison cloud. Ooh, poison cloud's nice. Range of six, disease. Um, so, yeah, kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and put you together. Let's transfer our units. Um, and let's get out there. Uh, I'm gonna head here so we can go through these woods and shortcut. Ideally, I'd like to intercept this guy. He's all archers, so I think we'll be okay against him. But we'll uh, find out, I guess. Crash into that. You guys will follow up. Continue that slow march north. All right, what do we got here? Thunderbird. I'm not really concerned about you guys. So let's continue exploring the realm and see what we get. All right. So we can come back and capture whatever he might capture here. Um, Lordship will come down here. What do we got? Two slingers, that's it? Okay. Um, I think Alaric can actually take that. Oh, no, nope, that's not what I want to do. I want to transfer, not trade. All right, this is Alaric here. He's got himself his rabbits. Um... We'll take the boars, and we'll as well take the deer, and yeah, might as well take the animals, right? They all move fast. Um, these guys move three. I don't think there's any limitation. We'll take you guys too. Got? Oh yeah. <laughs> Boar's got himself a uh, warrior's charm, huh? Go, Boar. All right. Yeah, looks good to me. All right. And Alaric still has an action point left, huh? So let's go ahead and crash into that. <laughs> Such a weird army. Oh, man. It's great. Well, we'll see what happens. All right. Uh, let's see here. We were coming down to take that and I believe that is our turn Yeah, nice and easy the Lightning bolts gives us some uh Meister and a Bergman, so. Alright, good job, dudes. So you can take that. And let's see what's down here. Ooh, okay, cool. Alright, here. These guys are gonna slowly march. Okay. And then at this point, I need to beeline it to here, because that's a bastion or uh, one of his uh, strongholds so all right we'll come up here like we mentioned all right you guys are slowly marching north and we'll attack whatever is in this stack be good xp right for our guys 
Um, at this point, we're going to just march this way. Uh, should we be able to take four wolves, right? I think so. We'll find out, I guess, if he attacks. Not be crazy there. This guy's regenerate. That's so weird. Yeah, go up there. I want to catch you with my big army. Winter's here. Okay. Um, this is my lord. He's got to continue his march there. So this is my best route. So down it goes. Um, yeah, I can definitely take that. So we'll go ahead and do that. You guys have to come anyway, so there we go. Oh, this slows us down. But, eh, whatever. You gotta continue your march. You're gonna come down that way. And at this point, you're gonna just come up that way. Okay. Oh, something different over there. I don't know what that is. All right, here, Herman. I might as well get to the trade district again, so. Mm, okay, next commander, enter. That's easy. Got a warrior's charm out of that, so very cool. Uh, probably from my dead boar, actually, so. Alright. Uh, let's see. Two, three. There we go. And we can definitely take these guys out, so. Yeah, there we go. What do we got here? Ooh, that's a chunk of units. Alright. that way and that way Ooh, it's another gateway interesting I wonder what this one leads to all right uh, you my lordship will go that way all right then turn excellent all right uh, don't screw that up almost took the mine all right we can definitely take these guys you, sir, can move here to that. Uh, you, sir, are mar marching slowly to that tree. Um, you guys, done there, and there. And let's see what's in this gateway. Okay, can't do any. Can't enter the gateway, I need to wait for an action point, so. All right, um, yes, you guys, there we go. Okay, slowly marching our way. As you can see, I'm not worried about recruiting anymore, really. I've got them pretty much contained now at this point. Do, do. Let's see where this goes. Uh, enter gateway. Oh, there's a battle here. <laughs> Wheel of storm and stone. Okay, thunderstrike. Not ooh, but cast spell, cast spell. It's an otherworldly entity of elemental power. It's a paradoxical conglomer conglomerate of opposite elements conjoined in a superior elemental unity. All right, uh, guards the primal gates that connect elemental planes. Okay, very cool. So it's got a shock shield. Uh, so if you attack in melee, you take shock damage. Not a worry for my front lines here. Trample though, uh, so it's gonna get deep into my units, which is not good. Uh, battle fast float, uh, shock resistant. Oof, that's gonna be tough to kill. Only 80 hit points, but three armor, why? Uh, and then wheel of frost and flames, that's the other side of it. Uh, let's see. 
These guys are not lightning uh, protected, so these guys will get murdered. All right. Well, let's see what that does. Yeah, what do we got here? Oh, my God. These guys are huge. Uh, sea giants. Okay, so this is the water realm. Uh, it's got a magic trident and a tail sweep. Extra effect. What's your extra effect? Uh, full sweep. Uh, all nearby targets. Minus one damage after each target, though. But it stuns. Okay. Um, and the sea titan casts hydromancy up to level two. And hates fire beings. Um, water elementals do the wave strike and a cone, so that's gonna hurt. But they're not weak, or they're not immune to lightning, so it'll be a it'll be a catch twenty two. We'll both be hurting each other to our full effects. All right, Herman, is that everybody? Did you move? You moved. Okay. Alright. Nice and easy. Alright, this one we're gonna go in speed four essentially. So like I thought, we murdered that first one. Now we just gotta hit this thing. Punch. And as you can see we're not doing that much damage because of that uh, armor three. from all of this stuff here but we'll we'll persevere so we'll take care of that next Alaric make sure you're the one that has all the fun stuff you are that's absolutely nothing to worry about so cool just move there move there move there all right you have finally made it there so and then you might as well kill deer. And here. All right. So I think uh, we're much better suited than over here. Does this stuff all cost two movement? It does. I don't know. Uh, this one doesn't. But look at that. Three. Oh, my God. This is the Nexus. I see. Very cool. All right. Well, we'll attack the Nexus itself. <laughs> uh, who knows how that's going to go. Um, hopefully they stay behind their thing. Um, he's the only one that cast, right? Everybody else is the thing. Yeah, so. So we'll see what happens. All right. Uh, you jabronis. I'll just come up and scout. Nothing crazy up here. So, go ahead and turn. Could have joined me. down to the tree men com combined with the lightning bolts. So this one will speed up. There's going to be a lot of lightning bolts. Oh, I should see what the spells are. So he's got Torrent of Water, which is a burst 5, and Acid Spray. Oof, none of those are very fun. Oh, 13. We got the spellcaster, so now the rest of them will come across the wall to, to attack us with their sweeping attacks. Or just, you know, murder somebody for 20 damage. Ooh, a venom sword. Adept spell scroll. Okay. Oh, yeah, so I had a spell scroll with another unit, probably one of these guys, actually. And uh, I was mistaking it for. Uh, mistaking. Mistaking it for um, a ritual, but it was actually a spell, so. That was on me. Uh, let's see. Can these guys murder these five? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> if not, I mean, I didn't really devote too much. All right, you guys are going to head north because I see some things we can capture up here, so we might as well get those. All right. Recorid. So first thing I want to look. Right now he's got Druidism level one. and he's, That's what he's got here. 
if we use special powers to do ritual and mastery, uh, not the one I wanted. We're going to do it again. Oh, I can't do it again until he gets more action points. Uh, we do get up to Druidism level 2, so that's useful. Ooh, Oak Army. Armor plus 1 to everybody. Wow, that would have been useful to have. And domestication uh, looks like it charms animals, so. Well, we'll go ahead and do some more uh, casting with them in just a bit. Here, though, let's see. Coming up this way. Ah, the Nexus. So we should be getting uh, wizard offers pretty, pretty commonly. Uh, let's see. What special powers? Okay, just your standard ones. Adept scroll. Oh. What is the adept scroll? Grants a level 1 spell on use and a level 2 spell on use, huh? So these guys aren't casters, but Grimwald is, I bet. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, cancel. That's what I want to give to... There we go. Alright. So, let's use the Adept Scroll. What do we got now? He's still level 1, but he now has a level 2 spell in the form of Shooting Thorns. Uh, let's visit the library. Did that give him anything? Grimwald? Special powers. Nope. I'm an idiot. Alright. Just gave him another level 1 spell. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was a waste. These guys can't visit the library because they're not actually spellcasters. They just construct things. Good to know. Alright. End turn. Sling did one damage, all told. Alright, a drought has struck. Income at farms will be reduced in the summer. That sucks. Alright, my lordship. 11 levies there. I'm going to let these two and their wildly crazy armies come in. Uh, my lordship really can't do much else, so he's just going to march north slowly. Just like these guys. Uh, you're going to use your special powers. Do that, and we're going to summon this retreat. that stupid thing comes back to bite us. Um, Alright. Pretty happy there. Do we want to go... Which plane do I want to visit? This one seems empty. Is it an ambush? No, it isn't. Okay. Eh, let's see what we got in this plane. Yeah, none of these cost any movement, so that's awesome. Alright, you're done. You're done, done, done. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn. Mushroom did its part. Took some arrows, or slingshots, anyways. Uh, all the guys. Let's see. Oh, don't have any action points left. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's go ahead and do your... Bergs. Guardian Bergs. Okay. Out of curiosity, what do you have for spells? Oh yeah, we already looked at that. Okay. Well, he's slowly making his way there. Alright, let's uh, enter the gateway. Where do we end up? Frost. Okay, and we got another fight. Uh, these guys are lesser water elementals and frost streaks. What do they get? Icy breath, cold resistant. Um, okay. Interesting. All right. Well, that is almost everything. Okay. 
you're done. So we'll go ahead and turn. Yeah, that wasn't going to do much, was it? Should have been standing on my gate. All right, done. 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 All right. I think we've got enough here. Screw it. Let's move out. All right, your lordship. Frozen River will stay frozen. Oh, we can't move because we moved under the mountain. Well, let's see what's down here. Nice and snowy for everybody. I'm looking for that little formless yesterday. All right, in turn. Let's see what we got here. Drought is over. All right. Uh, keep moving up. I don't know why I came up here. This takes two movement, doesn't it? Sphinx. All right, we'll come up that way. All this movement. Okay. Um, all right. Well, we'll see if we can befriend some of those wolves, right? All right. Now we can move up to here. And we have our lordship here, which will be good. So we can murder him. Ooh. Ah, look at that. Winter wolves. They have icy breath, but they'll never survive my lightning storm. And the frost giant. So he's got a large shield. Ooh. This guy's got uh, two to five armor. That's pretty impressive. Uh, 133 life and uh, hates fire beings. Snow move. That'd have been nice for my army, but uh, dwarves also get snow move surprisingly. So, or maybe not surprisingly. I guess it depends on what lore you read. Uh, the lore I read, uh, that's surprising to me. So, all right. Let's see. That was probably a stupid move. So go and attack there. But we'll see. Oh, uh, hitting the wrong button. Hi, wolves. Poor guy. Poor guys. Dudes. Okay, so he didn't. Alright. Uh, go this way. That way. Hmm. There really is no best way to go at this point, so. Alright. We're just gonna take him out here, because he's got 45 units unprotected by any form of uh, walls. I undines here. Um, they just cast spells, uh, which can be deadly. Uh, but they would get hit by a bunch of lightning bolts, huh? But, oh, here we go. Thimble Fortress. Uh, you guys don't cast, right? You just hit really, really hard. All right, so that's what? One, two, 34 damage. Yep. And then you, sir, cast Frost Magic level two. Okay, well, your fortress will be my fortress. Gives absolutely no benefits except you can recruit. So, um, well, recruit is what we need. So, let's go ahead and turn. Okay. Ooh, a black sorceress. Ah, oh, what? Ooh, look at these. All right, so we got Ether Warriors here, which uh, horror marked. Works like a beacon, is only perceivable by horrors. Being horror marked means you're attracting horrors and can be attacked by them at any time. Especially dangerous when the world of horrors is closer to Elysium than. Yeah, so. Uh, ethereal. It's got a chest wound, though, so. A gaping ethereal chest wound. Uh, but these guys are armor 2 and 28 hit points, and they just hit like a truck, 1 to 13 damage. Um, and then this guy here is awesome. So he's a uh, Brass Claw Horror, 37 uh, hit points. Two Brass Claw attacks, which do lightning damage on top of your, your sword damage, and stuns. So, and he does it twice, so bastard. And then the Aether Lord has Void Magic level 2 in a Moon Lance. Interesting. So, um, yeah, let's go see if we can murder it with my Lord. He took my temple. 
little bastards really love that temple. Uh, let's recruit uh, some oh, the black sorcerers for sure and some hog knights. Um, transfer those units here. Uh, let's see, black sorceress will come in as a separate. Where is, oh there's the hog knights, there we go. Alright, and the black sorceress is black magic level 2, so she's got cloud of death, verse 25, which decays everybody. And terror, fear 1 to 8 versus morale. Okay, how is the morale of those guys? We'll find out in just a sec, I guess, because uh, I really want to fight them. Uh, let's see, their morale is 9. Okay, that's not going to be great. Uh, and his is 16, so, and then his is 8. Okay. Rigors. 17, yeah, 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 yeah. No morale damage for them, so. All right. I think taking this will end the game, so I'm going to wait a turn because I want to take this Fimble Fortress. Um, so we'll go ahead and might as well combine up with them. You guys can come this way, and you're just going to slowly go this way. I really don't need to move any of these others, so I'm just going to end turn. All right. Let's just speed this up and see what all the lightning does. Water is not going to be great for me, but lightning is doing its work. I wish we didn't hit the door so much. It's there for a reason, I guess. There we go. Very cool. Now they're coming out of the woodwork, of course, but... Alright, let's see what happens with the fortress. So we're going to the elemental planes. What do we got here? Champion of Waves. Very cool. Um, is, what can we... Can we recruit anything cool here? Uh, let's see, what is that? Fimble Fortress. Oh, <laughs> this is cool. Alright, um, oh, I didn't check to see if there's anything in the Nexus. I don't... I think there is, huh? Uh, just a pound sign. Um, okay, so we got Mist Warriors, which are just using a Mist Bow and a Mist Dagger. Um, eight hit points, but they're ethereal, so that's really good. Shock resistant, cold resistant, 50%, poison resistant. Um, and those cost 150 gold. We can get a Yeti who throws rocks for one to five damage, and fists. Or, well, attacks with fists uh, for 1 to 9 damage, um, 43 hit points. Or we can get Wave Warriors, uh, which look like your standard troopers with a Pearl Trident, though, that does 1 to 9 damage. So, um, And they're, of course, cold resistant and amphibious. So I could use them to attack the waters if I wanted to. So very cool. All right. Well, that is pretty much the game here. So let's go ahead and finish it off, shall we? So we'll just go ahead and get this army. We'll crash it north, um, and let's end turn. What's up? Treemen are great. Wolf of the Baron has been eliminated. The last citadel was conquered by Togbog the Bergmeister. Awesome. So let's go ahead and view the score graphs. So I'm green. The Baron is red. As you can see right here in the middle, uh, of it all was uh, definitely some dire straits. Red had some massive armies, but here's where I kept punching through, punching through, punching through until I managed to wipe out a good chunk of his armies and he just couldn't recover from that. Um, this is the number of citadel zones, so as you can see he had an advantage on me for just about most of the game there until the very end when I started to finally uh, get out of my own areas and get into his. So. And gold income, he just had me by quite a lot. Um, as the Baron, you also get free recruits. Every village, which is the larger uh, uh, little, it's like farm. Uh, I forget what the middle one is called, and then village. Village gives you three gold. Every one of those villages gave him a free knight. Um, and then every one of the other town structures uh, gives him a free spearman. So... Uh, so he got those units, and then he would get discounts on his units as well, regularly. So so that's part of the reason why he could build such large armies of those traditional troops. So, 
Uh, but yeah, iron income, he just had too much of it. Uh, most of these don't happen. You can see what, oh, let's do the fungal income. Look, troll lord, troll lord, troll lord. Poor guy. Uh, sacrifice income, boop. So that's about right when uh, we eliminated blue. Um, he had a pretty good sacrifice income. He just uh, lost all his citadels. And then this is my weed production. And as you can see, peaks and valleys, uh, the valleys being winter. Um, why did it drop so low at this particular? Oh, was that because of the drought? Yeah, the drought during the summer months. Uh, ouch. And then gem income, trade, and uh, this right here is relic income. Okay. And then we can reveal the map. Um, not really much to see. You can see how much of the world turns winter, though, so that's kind of neat to see. Uh, ooh, there was a couple of towns over here. Uh, nothing uh, crazy that you'd want to build an amphibious force just to go out there, but uh, there were a couple towns out there, but I, otherwise I think we hit everything. Uh, there was one all the way up in the corner over here as well uh, that could have been useful, but it was so isolated and probably in the snowy regimes that we didn't really want to bother with it. And as usual, uh, menagerie of sea creatures. And then there should be at least one, yep, there it is. Uh, one giant jellyfish just floating out into space. So, uh, very cool. Um, unfortunately, you can't see the other planes, or maybe fortunately, because uh, there's some mystery there and they don't want to give it away. Uh, we definitely learned some more today because of the uh, the elemental plane gates and everything, so that was pretty awesome. So, so anyways, uh, for those of you that were with me from the beginning, I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, I plan on continuing this game uh, in a, another playthrough uh, with a different leader, um, and we'll see about upping the difficulty settings and see where we go from there. Um, I'm probably going to do the voice of L, which is kind of like your Christians. They have crusades, but more importantly, they have the seven seals they can break. And if you break the seals, every seal you break gives you more and more troops from the heavens, as it were. Uh, so, kind of a neat idea, and you can also uh, transform villages to your faith. So even if they're controlled by other people, they still tie the portion of their income to you, uh, to the voice of L. Uh, so little things like that. So should be interesting. I'm uh, I'm excited to to do a new let's play. Um, the Hoburgers were definitely fun. Um, but yeah, the little guys were really hard to, to, to win with simply because even though you have massive numbers, you just can't bring them to bear. And we saw that the switch to Bergmeister guard, that was probably my, my smartest move, uh, in this game. Um, if you don't count the tree men, uh, but the Bergmeister guard with that heavy armor, uh, gave enough survivability to allow me to win some major fights that I think would have otherwise turned the other way in any other circumstances. So. So with that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, please like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot to us. Um, definitely check us out on Facebook, and we're uh, getting our Twitter up and running as well. So uh, with that, I'll bid you guys adieu.